Okay, today's experiment is this little piece of copper right here. It's the only one we got on the wheel. I ran it last night. I also put some air holes in the back to cool the motor down. But uh, last night I was thinking about it, and what I've got to do is cover the magnets with a piece of copper. So that's what I'm attempting to do this morning is cover the magnets with a piece of copper and uh, try to get them closer so that they will heat up higher. Last night's run with uh, this, you've already seen this one, uh, that brought, believe it or not, the room temperature up 2.4 degrees. And uh, so what I'm going to do today is run this for a while and see if I can raise the temperature in the basement. Uh, it's difficult to do, but not impossible. So, here's the temperature. We're about uh, six, seven feet away. Guess I'm going to have to turn the light on to see better. Okay, I read 69.4. And uh, I'm going to hook this up to one of the big battery bags today instead of playing with that 10-volt uh, battery. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, last night I run this motor, and it was exactly one point, close I could tell, two amps uh, with no drag. So that's what, uh, and also I included the fan in that guesstimate. So, we'll see what it is today. I'm going to have to set this down to hook it up, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. No. Okay. So, camp gauge is over here. Kind of got moved around a lot. So, right now, with that one piece, we're drawing four and a half amps. Hard to believe. One little piece of copper will increase the amp draw of this motor about 3 amps. And we're uh, running at uh, 1236 on the line. And uh, we have a glare of the light. There's about 76 degrees on the motor already. And the piece of copper says 80 something. Let me read it from the other side. Okay, 104 for a high, 95. On the bottom and 100, 105 on the top. So I'm going to have to center that piece of copper a little bit better. But that's uh, what I'm trying to do today is see if I can run a smaller piece of copper, lower the amp draw, and still come up with the heat. I'm getting a lot of air just off the magnet. See how much air I am getting off. Okay. I mean, I'm getting a lot of movement just off the, the single wheel. There's no, uh, there's nothing on here except for the magnet sticking out of the wheel. Kind of reminds you of a Tesla. Uh, some pressure or something. Anyway, we're, uh, we're going to run this for a little while and come back in about 15 minutes and see what it says. The motor's running. We can find back by the brushes or thereabouts. 76 all the way, the rest of the way up. And 
well, I guess we'll just take a reading right there. 93, 96. Yeah, I'm going to have to move that piece of copper up a little bit. So, I'll move that up see if I can get it centered a little better. Okay. Redid the copper. It still don't look right, but see what happens. Yeah, I did something for um, six and a half amps now. Line voltage is down to 12, 29. So must be I got the uh, must be I got the top of a little closer to that magnet. There's more in the center. Yeah, better for that. I have to start off and get too close. Again. Okay, let's try this again. I think what I forgot is that that uh, aluminum rod heats up at Lincoln. And so it was stretching itself out. Everything you've got to think of when you do these experiments. But we're only drawing uh, 12.33 on the line draw and our amps is down back down to four and a half amps so I see I got it far enough away again. So maybe we'll let this run for a little while and see what happens. Uh, we'll be back. Okay, it's now about mm, I'm gonna guess 35 minutes the thing's been running. And uh, we found a little bit better way of keeping this thing. We're getting I've seen it high as 150 degrees, but it's, uh, it's, still, it's still really well. 135 to 140, 144, it's, it's getting up to 149. So it's, uh, it's doing quite well. And I even shut off the overhead light except for the uh, LED so I wouldn't get that heat confused. And we are getting, uh, right now we're at 70.0. So we've come up 7 tenths, and the uh, clock that's flashing is 11.58, and I think it was uh, 11.24, somewhere in that neighborhood where we started. So that gives you the idea of what's going on. And our line voltage is down to 12.10 uh, amps, or volts, I mean. And the amperage is running now just a just a tick over five amps. So, oh, I got say the motor has also uh, stayed reasonably cool. Ninety one, ninety two. So, I think that's acceptable there because it's been running like I say thirty thirty five minutes, and the temperature in this whole basement has come up seven tenths of a degree and I think that's pretty pretty big for the uh, amount of energy that we're spending down here. So oh well. We'll see what uh, see what you guys think.